Hey, Dan, in most cases in movie and theater productions, it could have been a firearm that was converted to fire what's called blanks. But the manager of Bullet and Barrel says firing blanks can still be very dangerous. The gas jet that leaves the firearm can cause fatal harm. Prop masters in the movie industry typically give actors training to handle prop guns, a training similar to when you go to the gun range. The manager of Bullet and Barrel says there are four known safety rules when handling any type of firearm. Keep firearm unloaded until ready to use. Point the firearm in a safe direction. Know your target and what's behind it and keep your finger off the trigger. We treat every firearm like it is loaded because as long as a firearm is pointing in a safe direction, that is the best way to avoid an accident like this. But why do movies and theater use real guns if the risk of harm is there? A fake cap gun is great inside a 300 seat indoor theater, but for an outdoor theater, you know, you want that concussive, almost firework bang. And so we opted to use shotguns with blank shotgun shells. Melissa Jones is a former weapons master. Some kind of weapons master is on the set of all film and theater productions when a prop gun is being used. They are basically the the caretaker and safety officer for all firearms on set. Weapons master has a procedure to follow when handing a gun off to an actor on set. To the uh, actor, when they're about to walk on stage, they do a cha what's called a chamber check, where you show them, you know, here, here it is, it's loaded, I've loaded it for you, everything's ready, you just, and then they hand it to them. They go out on stage, they do their bit, they fire the gun, they bring it back, do another chamber check with the weapons master and hand it off. An incident on the set of Rust may not change the way guns are used in films, but it may be a reminder of the risks at hand. It's a sad reminder of the importance of following the basic firearm handling safety rules. And I'm sure that after the debrief happens for this, it'll come out that some of these rules were not followed. Now, a similar case happened back in 1993 when Bruce Lee's son was accidentally killed on the set of The Crow. Now, the question remains, how is this going to change movie sets going forward? Reporting live in Huntsville, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.